Happening here live, boxing is back in the ocean state as competitors line up for their chance at in-ring glory, of course, and you can be there to experience it all as CES presents the thriller at the stadium, June 19th at Creston Stadium, of course, and joining us this morning is one of the competitors, Jamie the Hurricane Clampett Hayes. Good morning, Jamie. Good morning. Nice to see you. Thank you. First of all, before we get into what fans can expect on the 19th and your big comeback to the ring, of course, let's talk a little bit about your background. I was reading about you and you're from Saskatchewan, correct? Yes. And you've yep. been in Rhode Island for almost 20 years now, right? Yep. Yeah. So I um, moved here. Uh, Mr. Birchfield signed, um, brought me in t to fight one of his fighters and uh, ended up signing me, and I just stayed in Rhode Island. That's what Rhode Island does to you. Right? Yeah, so I didn't want to leave. I love <laughs> well, it here. Well, we are better off for it. And, you know, when you were growing up, did you always have an interest in fighting? What kind of drew you to the sport of boxing? Um, I actually did. I was a gymnast, and um, I had an injury, so I had to stop gymnastics for a while, and I got into boxing because it was the first thing in the phone book that popped <laughs> up. <laughs> so I was like, I'm, I'm doing this. So I went into a gym, and uh, they were really accepting. At the time, they didn't have females boxing um, so I was the second female registered in Canada and um, they were great and just you know treated me like one of the guys and just fell in love right away with the sport. That's fantastic. Do you see yourself, you know, sort of as a pioneer and an inspiration for young ladies out there who might want to take up boxing? Um, I definitely see myself as a pioneer. I mean, I've been doing it for a long time um, and you know, I think I think some women feel more comfortable training with um, somebody who's been through what I've been through and had the experiences that I had. Right. So, um, you know, I, I hope I inspire people, um, especially, you know, coming back at almost 45. Um, you know, I, I hope that people realize that it's never too late. You know, we've been actually showing a lot of stories on the show this week about uh, high school graduates in their 90s, you know, kids starting businesses. Age really is just a number, isn't it? It is. You know, I feel really good, um, you know, at my age doing this, and I feel that, you know, in some ways I have an advantage because I have that experience behind me. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about what drew you back to the ring because you were retired, of course, now you're making the comeback. Yeah. What led you down this path and how does the family feel? <laughs> um, so it, it was kind of crazy because I really, um, when I retired um, eight years ago, I really thought that was it for me. And I think in some ways I just got a little bit burnt out from the sport and I've stayed within it um, but I tried doing some other things I did some fitness competitions and you know I love I love to train I love to stay active um, and I don't know I think just COVID and a lot of you know things have happened the last couple of years and I just realized like I, I just want to kind of follow my passion still and I love doing this and I love the sport and it's brought me so much. Absolutely. You know? And for you, I mean, is it like riding a bike? Does the training bring it all back? I mean, are you in that tip top shape that you were in before and ready to go, of course? Um, it's definitely different. I would say, you know, like I'm, I'm going to be 45 in a couple of weeks and it is different training. Um, I'm really fortunate because I have a great strength and conditioning coach and um, an awesome boxing coach that understands that it is different. but. I, I feel amazing, and um, I think, again, in some ways I have that advantage because I'm just focused in a different way. Absolutely, and of course, the big event coming up June 19th at Cranston Stadium. I love this outdoors for the first time in like 60, 60 years. That's fantastic. Yeah. So how excited are you, I mean, just to, to be a part of this event, which welcomes everybody back, everybody back because that live energy is a, a huge component to the entire experience. Yeah, I think, first of all, fighting outside is awesome. And I think the venue has a lot to do um, with the energy that this is bringing. And of course, Jimmy Birchfield, um, you know, he's one of the best promoters in the world. And he, you know, he really brings the fans in. And I think, you know, there's so many cool stories with this, um, this particular fight show because, you know, myself, I'm coming back at my age. Gary Belletto's son and, you know, his youngest son is on the amateur side of things. So he has two of his children. So that legacy, you know, and that family being a part of this event is huge. Right. And I think just after everything we've been through and we all get to be together and, you know, Rhode Island is a small state and we have a really tight knit boxing family. And I think people are just excited. You it, know, it's going to be tremendous. And you've inspired me right here today, Jamie. How do you think I would do in the ring? 
Um, I, th I think let's let's book some training sessions <laughs> first. First of all, yeah, we'll see what you got. First, I don't know. <laughs> first of all, I wear makeup for a living, so okay, that could be yeah. a problem. And secondly, I'll need a nickname. You're the hurricane. Yeah. I'm more like a passing shower. A passing shower. So I love it. I love it. <laughs> we'll yeah. see if we can copyright that. Well, a pleasure to meet you. And best, oh, thank you. Best of luck on the 19th. I can't wait to see you in action. Thank you so much. All right. If you guys would like to be there for the thriller at the stadium, CES Boxing presents. Of course, you know what to do. You can get tickets right now on our website. Their link is at. Joe.com.